Yo, what's up everybody? I am back with Life of the Lord and uh, I just logged in and I accepted a quest called something like the Flaming Project is related to the burning character thingy and I opened two boxes. I didn't record it but I wanted to show you what I got from it. It is the little 100 frozen set that you get if you burn your character. You will get this set on that character when you reach level 100 and as you can see it gives absolutely mad stats and just take a look at this set. It's going to be an absolute mental uh, range increase. I'm going to enhance all of these and then I'll show the range increase. Let's just open the potentials first. First off, strength. Can use that. More strength. Tough luck. Very nice. And the weapon. We get some attack. No, what we do get a little bit of luck, so that's fine. I'm just gonna enhance all of these up and then I will check out the Rage Creech. Alright, I just Star Force enhanced all of my equips up to uh, 6 stars because I wanted to get them up until you start having a chance of dropping down stars. I, uh, I did max out my claw though because it gives more weapon attack. So I thought that was a good investment. And as you can see, I used the transfer hammer to upgrade my claw. So I cannot really see my range before, but it was 9,100, I'm pretty sure. Let's just buff up. Oh, we cannot do that. We don't have claw on. But let's just check out what the new range is. It is going to be 19,700. So almost doubling my range just by equipping this set that I got for free, which is pretty damn awesome. I'm also going to buy another set of Ilvis if you can buy them here. Yes, you can. Just so I have three. That is a little more pleasant. And yup, I think that's it. Any other events we have to look at? I'm not going to do all these yet. I want to level up a little bit today. And I think that's it. Pretty sick, getting that range going. And in the next sequence of this video, I, I guess you will just be seeing me uh, leveling a whole bunch. The double XP is currently on, and I also have, pretty sure I have one of, yeah, I have one of these that gives some more double XP. And I think that's just going to be it. I will be answering some of the questions and comments for the last videos, and yeah, enjoy. All right, real quick before we get into the questions, I uh, just want to talk, talk about where I was training here. I was training f at the Red Harps from level 100 because I was not quite sure where to train, where the best training spot is from level 100 to 110. So if you guys have any suggestions uh, besides Sacum, then be sure to leave it in the comments. And also you really have to look out for the Sacum kill I, uh, I kill here later in the video. I get mm, an insane amount of XP with all the XP multipliers. This was also during 2x XP. So absolutely mental XP you will see later. Let's get right into the first comment or question. It is from Red Eagle and it says, "How did you get the Android? It was from a uh, a box, Heroes of something box with that came with the new patch. If you registered for the event uh, like a week or two weeks before the event came on their website, you would get this box and you would get the Android, just like that. So you cannot get it anymore." Next one is from David Lee. He says, "You should stream this live on Twitch." And uh, I have been thinking about streaming. Um, I don't think I'm going to stream exactly this series, but I definitely want to do some streaming later on in my uh, my my gaming, I guess. Um, then we have one from Dennis N, and he says, "Hey Tim, so what kind of cubes do you use, or uh, do you use, or recommend to tier up epic to unique? And then what do you use for unique to legendary?" I would personally use black cubes to tier up from uh, you know every stage. All the way up to uh, legendary and then uh, use red cubes to get a better potential and if you have something that is quite good and but you want to see if you can get something better then you can also use uh, black cubes for that i am not quite sure what the actual best thing is but this is what i personally would do use black cubes to tear up and then red cubes and of course i'm a reboot so you can kind of throw your cubes around however you want then we have one from thomas nagayan do you like reboot or regular servers more I personally like the reboot server more, and that is also pretty much the only thing I play right now. Then we have one from Markim Timsa. What time do you play Mabel uh, so I can meet you? Um, I play f 
from it's kind of hard because I am in uh, Denmark so I think my time zone I'm pretty sure it's GMT plus one um, it, or maybe it's GMT plus plus two so it's kind of the exact opposite of most people's um, day rhythm and I play pretty much from maybe around three o'clock in the afternoon on all the way until sometimes two three in the night maybe not in a row but in that uh, time period I'm quite sure that when the double XP for you guys at 2 p.m. I think it is it says on the website it starts for you guys it is 11 p.m. for me so you can kind of go back so it's actually in the morning for you guys I guess that I'm playing but yeah then we have one from Super Stoat and it says Timsa you have beautiful eyes cap of pride I know they're beautiful bro I know they are then we have one from Red Reboot, he says, what do you prefer, old maple or new maple? And I know a lot of people prefer the old maple story and are like, bring back old maple, it's the best. But to be honest, I really I really enjoy new maple story. I think the only thing that's missing is uh, that there should be more people. I think that's the main issue. And the pay to win aspect has kind of been solved with the reboot server. So I would rather play on the new maple story than the old one, to be honest. Except there could be more people, that would be nice. Then we have one from Shears Cold. If you do Sakum at level 100 while on burn, you will level super fast. Yeah, exactly, that is what I did on my uh, uh, Night Lord in this video as well, and it is absolute mental HP. Then we have one from uh, some name I cannot pronounce. Is this the guy named Daniel? I don't know, but he says, Can you please do a live stream when you play with your subs? And uh, as I said before, I'm not planning on doing this series on live stream, but I will definitely live stream in the future. Then we have one from Ray999, and he says, Hey Lamau, hey Lamau, bro. Then we have one from NJ Camillacon, and he says, Have you tried out the Slumbering Dragon Island Express event? It's quite interesting to me. If you could, if you can get a total of 500 days survive, you get one of the best no temporary title holders in the game. Love the videos as usual. Thank you, bro. And no, I have not tried the new event. Is it has it just come out or something like that? I don't know. But uh, sounds interesting. Try to check it out. Then we have one from that gamer. He says, Can you do a video on how to acquire pets without NX or without using the NX shop? I'm pretty sure that you actually at one point you could get a pet in the reward shop so you can get one from free essentially. But um, they removed it. So you have to buy a pet right now for NX. Otherwise, you have to find it. The only other way to get it without NX right now that I know of is through Hiller. The boss Hiller can drop a pit so you can get a pit for free. But that's the only way I know. You have to be quite lucky to get it. I have never gotten it in my time of playing. So it's a, it's a little rare. If you can get some drop rate, maybe you can get it a little bit easier. Then we have one from Golden Gamer Guy one and it says, new to the channel, I play on Scania and I have a question. I'm at level 148 on my Aaron and I was wondering what I should be doing to be getting good equipment and weapons. I don't feel like my damage is good enough, uh, especially because I have a 120 weapon and I need some better armor. Um, and I also see that Crazy Burger Hotline has talked about the mission journey. Yeah, be sure to check that out. That's, that is um, a really good source of information. Pretty much shows everything you want to do on the regular servers. and. Uh, yeah, you should be getting. You should probably just level up to 150, and then get the Fafnir weapons and the Fafnir set on Scania because you can buy things on Three Mile there. I don't know how expensive they are on Scania on Bro. They were quite cheap at the point when I was playing there. So definitely just level 150 and get those items. Then we have one from Dennis N, and he says, "Any tips on funding your main on the reboot server? I would say cube your weapon, then your secondary." Then your, I think it's emblem or maybe it's badge. I think it's emblem because that also can give a percent attack and then just start everything up. I would, I would be uh, trying to fund this character throughout this uh, series as well, so you can just kind of follow there. Then I have one from Laura Dageford and it says, "Whoa, great job, Tim sir. You subscribed to Missung TV first on this channel, uh, but then the Boki was last. I cry. Uh, <laughs> sure, uh, I cry too. I cry every time. So." Then we from Thomas L and he says, please talk about the merge. And I'm guessing you, you're thinking or you're talking about the merge between the EU servers and the global servers. And I think that is uh, really awesome. I haven't been playing on the EU, EU servers myself, 
but I'm guessing it would be a lot better for them because they are quite far behind on patches and it's also always great to have more people playing on the uh, global servers I think. So I'm looking forward to that. Then we had one from Slice the Dice and he says, lol, can't believe you added me in the video, thanks I guess. Been a sub since your missile guide here with good work man. Thanks a lot bro, really appreciate you watching all my vids. And yeah, if I'm recording and people add me something like that, then I can, I'm just gonna say her name, so that's it. Then we have one from Daniel Cool. he says you should do a fusion with an NPC and a monster. And I could do that, that would be pretty funny. Definitely let me know if you guys want to see more of those fusion videos, you know, the one I made. Uh, like a week ago, something like that. They are quite funny to make, so uh, I definitely want to do more of those. There are one from Mega Rampage and says, Are you going to make a Mesa Journey videos? And if yes, are they coming soon? And um, I, have, I think I have mentioned this before, but I don't think that things have changed that much since I did it last time. So if I made another one, it would just be pretty much the same. And Right now I'm only playing on the reboot servers, so uh, that's not really like that many things to know. You just farm mesas and uh, gear up and that's pretty much it. So I'm not planning on making a new mesa journey right now. And that was it for all the questions in this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.